Hey everybody, and welcome to a Heliopedia run-through. Today, we are going to get 100% all 99 stars. It's going to take a couple hours, but hopefully if you're uh, interested in this game and you want to figure out how to get some of the endgame stuff, I'm going to walk through all of it all throughout this video. So stick around and hopefully enjoy. So we're just going to get through this little tutorial first. It does take a minute, and all I gotta do right now is feed them. So we'll get him fed some coal, and thankfully he doesn't talk a lot throughout this whole game, so we're just gonna get through the little bit of introduction, and he wants three coal, so we're gonna grab that for him, but while we're here, I'm gonna grab a bunch of supplies. I'm gonna go to a couple belts right off the bat, that way I don't have to keep going back and forth. And I'm just gonna collect all the ice, all the coal, and all the oxygen out of these three. And it'll help give us a really good start, so we can kinda of get all these planets rocking pretty fast. Just bear with me here. And what I'm going to try and do is sort of uh, do a process of what biome and what critters and animals and everything go into each one. And hopefully we can sort of leave these planets intact by the end of this. Uh, the last time I did this run through, it was pretty much a mess by the end of it. Where there was just all kinds of dead critters and animals floating throughout the ad atmosphere there. Because uh, I was just rushing to get to the end. So I'm going to take my time a little bit on this one. You know, it's a pretty chill game. It's not a bad one to just kind of hang out with. You know, we're not trying to do a speed run on this particular run through. So I'm only going to do two belts right now. That'll get us a pretty good start. Uh, I'm mostly looking for a lot of oxygen, and you'll see why very soon. A little bit more of this. Okay, and we're good to go. So we'll go back to the sun. And we'll feed him the coal he's looking for. This is going to give us our first planet. And we got our first one. So because we have three stars already, based on those three elements we already picked up, Gonna go through his little spiel here about how he opens up a store and stuff like that. And we're gonna get the solar match. That way we don't have to come back to him for a second. Yep, yep, home shop, cool, concept, yep, unlock stuff, cool. Yep, gotcha. Yep, pretty cool. Alright, great. Alright, so we're gonna get a couple matches. Five should do us for what it's worth for now. And what we're gonna start is we're gonna populate the atmosphere with a whole ton of oxygen, okay? So we're at a eight out of 13. So I wanna exceed that and I wanna look at the pressure bar here and I wanna get that past its maximum pressure here, which would be two bar. And by doing that, let's get up to three can. I know it's a lot of oxygen, but what's happening now is there's so much pressure in the atmosphere that stones are starting to form. So we get a couple stones out of this and I'm going to uh, fast forward a bit so we get a bunch of stones on the planet. And these are going to be good for two things is iron ore and a rare item, which is gold. We're going to need two gold for the run through and two iron ore in total. So at two bar, it stops creating so I'm going to feed it a bit more oxygen get a bit more rocks going on here I'm going to put them all in a little pile here that way when we hit it with fire it's all going to burn up easily but before I actually start burning it I'm going to throw a bunch of coal down 
and at 13 what I want to do is I want to get the fertility up to 14 so I'm gonna put 14 pieces of coal down so got five There's 14 here's 15 for good measure just in case one doesn't burn and I'm just gonna throw a bit of ice down as well just for good measure so now I'm gonna burn this and I'm gonna try and collect all this into a spot where it's all gonna light up in this one big blast that way we're gonna get our iron ore we're gonna get the ashes that we're looking for we're gonna get enough to fertilize the planet there's our ashes, so one, two, three is all I need to feed them. And now what I want to do is I want to start adding some ice. And I want to get the humidity up so it becomes a lake really quick. And the reason doing that is kind of lazy. And I don't want to really feed all these ashes with each puddle. You can do a few of them. Well, Let's see, this might not take as, as long, but yeah, I'll add a couple more in here. You can always take them out as the clouds start developing, but I'm trying to get the fertility past 13. Because as soon as you exceed the fertility level of the planet, volcanoes form. So there we go. Alright, so these should all just melt now, and we're at 14, so here these, these volcanoes come. Alright, so we'll give that a second to uh, do its thing. Boom. Alright, so we got lava. I'm just gonna put that off. We got an ash cloud. And we got a regular cloud. We can combine those two clouds for electricity. We can save that for a little bit. While the volcano's burning, we can get some iron ore. We can smelt that into stainless or uh, into steel. And so now we have the two iron or the two golds we need and the two steels we need. I'm gonna take this steel and I'm gonna craft that into a battery right off the bat with the gold. And then I'm gonna take that thundercloud and I'm gonna bring it right over to the battery. And there we go. So now we have a charged battery, and that's for a little later on in the game, but now we just don't have to worry about it. That brings us up to 17 stars. I'm gonna get a little bit of water off this planet. Also, we can take out a piece of CO2, and that'll give us an 18th star. And that's gonna be enough for us to unlock the next two items. That's gonna be the solar seeds and the solar eggs. With those finds, we can actually unlock the solar nut as well because we're up at 20. All right, so that being said, let's get rid of these matches. Let's feed him some ashes. That way he can spit out another planet. We can get on to our next eating task, which is going to be worms or wormers or whatever they call them. And for that, we're actually going to have to start building our biome of a uh, plane. So I don't need the matches anymore. I'm going to get some solar seeds. I'm going to use a lot of these because I've, the, the plains biome is found to be probably the one that's most lucrative for getting discovery points. So I'm just going to take a few of those. I'm going to take some eggs. And I'm going to take just a few of these as well. Okay. So we're going to go over to our temperate lake. And what I can do right now is just for the sake of getting points, I'm actually going to just fertilize with one of these just so I can get the bulrush. And then I'm going to drain this lake quite a bit into a swamp. And I'm going to throw another one down. And this should give us some moss. No. So it's kind of a balance, right? So I got a lily pad here coming up. No, that lily pad went away because of the swamp. It needs to be in a lake. But that's okay. So now we're in a swamp area. And I'm just going to try and throw down a seed for each biome as we're getting to our uh, our plains. What, it, what I'm trying to get to is the plains right now. Yeah, 
We got our first nitrogen, so we can click on that. Yeah, great. I'm gonna bring that cloud over here. Got our first seedling over here. That should be cypress. Uh, we've got solid question mark. We got a willow now. And this isn't going to be great for the planet yet because it needs CO2. But the twigs are going to be perfect because now we can combine and make a nest. And that way we can start actually producing CO2. We need three more discovery points first. So hopefully the seedling, I can get past seedling area before... Well, I'm out of CO2 now. So that might not grow. That's okay though. That's what I can do is I can start throwing down some more of this, getting ready for critters. So now that we have a lot of nitrogen in the air, I'm going to throw one, two, and three down. And these are all going to be worms because they're in the plains area. So now we got our worms for the next planet. All right. It's okay that if it goes barren every once in a while. Gonna send these guys off. Okay. And now we've got the next planet. And it's gonna be another one that I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna work on this planet quite a bit before we even get to the other ones. The other biomes are gonna be Arctic and Desert. But let's get two more points so we can unlock the animals. My fertility is really low right now. I have a lot of nitrogen, so by adding a few more critters to the place, and I'm going to try and place them strategically, so I get different critters each time. So one next to a stone. Give me a salamander. There you go. And then one next to some moss. I don't know if I was too late for that. Let's see. Should give me a snail. There we go. We got a snail. So now we're up to 30. So now we have enough points to unlock the egg. Okay. We can start getting CO2 onto the planet now. So we'll start with swamp life. Um, it's us. It's not a question mark. Really. Oh yeah. Dink at the volcano. Okay. So now, because we already built a nest, and we're in a swamp, let's create a frog. Should be a frog, I think. And that's just going to start getting our CO2 in the air. They've got plenty enough oxygen. But what I'm going to try and work down to, into is a plane. There we go. we got a frog. So he's going to be the first thing outputting CO2 into the air. And now I'm going to take a little bit of water off the planet, and we're going to try and get to plains. This isn't going to be good for the frog. They like the, the wet areas more than the plains, but... Right now, this is more for points. Okay, so we're gonna get the humidity down just a little bit lower. And I've got enough nitrogen to support another critter as well. So that critter, I'm going to try and get right over here. I'm not sure if that's gonna give me anything different than a worm. Um, we'll find out. But now we got our cypress tree and we got our dragonflies. Okay, so these guys aren't going to do great in this next biome that we're aiming for, but that's okay, because now that we have it, it's knocked off the list sort of thing. Okay. I'll speed it up a bit just so we can get this water out of the way. Okay, we're at plains now. So with the plains, I'm going to start planting some grass. And this grass is going to give us the area to do apple trees in. I'm going to plant two of these on the outside over here for berry bushes we'll get these watered first because berries are the next thing that uh, needs and I have to keep an eye on my CO2 right because uh, these plants are going to be breathing in the CO2 quite a bit and I need to be producing it with animals so on the plains let's go ahead and get rabbit I believe There we go. And there's our first rabbit. That's going to help with the CO2 production. That's going to take down quite a bit of this. While these are producing oxygen, their output, the animals are going to output the CO2. And so we're going to get that balance going on. 
I'm gonna get a bit of grass going on because I want a bit of nitrogen. I want to keep an eye on my fertility because I don't want volcanoes happening right now. So if I find it getting too high, I can just remove one of the critters off and put it out in the atmosphere there. And that'll help maintain the fertility. And don't worry about these guys, they stay alive as counterintuitive as it is, they stay alive out here. Okay, so we got berries growing. And we've got a pretty decent amount of CO2 being created. We've got a flower, so that's gonna be perfect because when we plant our tree, I need to go get another, uh, so I'm gonna collect these berries first. I'm out of nitrogen now, as you can see, right, because I have too many critters and not enough grass. So I'm gonna add some more grass into this here. I'm gonna keep trying to grow as much of this as we can to balance that nitrogen and keep the fertility around 10 or 11, but anytime we exceed that, then we're gonna get volcanoes. And it's gonna screw us up, because it'll burn our planet if we don't catch the volcanoes in time. So with that amount of CO2, these bush, this bush should produce quite quickly. There we go. And there's the third berry. Moving back to the sun, we're gonna feed him. And he's going to spit out another planet. And then the next and last thing that we're going to need is apples. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab some of the solar nuts again. Just in case we're up in our oxygen here. Grab a couple more of the seeds. Go back to our planet. And I'm going to plant a nut right in the grass here. And right next to the flower too, because that's going to help us with the uh, honeybees. They're going to grow a hive right around here if there's flowers around. We'll fast forward that. Now we have too much CO2 going on, right? So I'm going to take at least one mammal off the planet. Or not, the frog's not a mammal, I get a reptile, but uh, one of the oxygen breathing entities. Some nitrogen floating in here, might as well put that away. Okay. And that's gonna grow that. So this is gonna thrive in here. Rabbit might not be doing so good because he has no oxygen. I'm gonna help him out for a second just so he doesn't suffocate. And we got our beehive because of the flowers. And we got the bee as well. Okay, that's great. And we have our apple tree. Okay, and with that abundant amount of CO2, these apples should pop up fairly quickly. I'm not going to put any more critters on the planet. I'm just going to let these eggs float in the atmosphere for now. And because the oxygen is getting starting to bump up here, so we'll start grabbing these apples. all this stuff it seems like we're doing pretty good we need more oxygen production but these guys are surviving so that's okay now I'm gonna be building multiple nests because each planet I'm just gonna drop a nest on each one and that way I don't have to really think about it anymore so anytime I want to birth something I'll just have it available I'm gonna make another nest as well just with whatever I have available. And the more CO2 that you have in the air, the better off you're gonna be for your trees, right? They're gonna be happier like that. Now it's barren, but that's okay, because we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna feed the sun these apples. Make sure you wake them up first before you toss it, because you won't catch it. And then you gotta go back. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is our last planet that he's going to produce. And we're going to go back, and now we'll notice that he's a black hole. Oh no, I'm up. Yes, something is really wrong. Okay, so we're basically done with him now. 
Now what we can do as well is we can start looking at what this is going to take. So those seeds that I had, I'm going to drop these guys down just so I can get that fertility going again. Hopefully, there we go. That's going to give us a bit of fertility on the planet. Not much, just enough to sustain life. Um, hopefully it's not going to take too much of the nitrogen out of the air, but let's see what it does. And at this point in time, we've gotten all the planets open. So now we're going to go through and I like knocking these off. Just click on them. That way we can take a look at what we need next. And we're going to start going down the list of what needs to happen to create each of these. It's going to take a while. We got 50 more to go. 50 ish. But we'll get it. So, the next part of this as well. Let's see. What have I found? Okay. Okay. Now we're all good. So now we're going to start looking at what we need and what are the easiest things to get going, okay? So I'm looking at the sand right now. So sand we got. And what we're going to do with the sand, we're going to get a cloud over it and get it to rain. And that's going to become a mud pool. And the next one we're going to go, I'm going to go get an egg. Actually, I got a couple floating over there already, but I'm just going to grab a match for now. We're going to go back. And we're going to light that sand on fire because, you know, that totally makes sense. And sorry about that worm. But our fertility is doing okay, so it's all right that a couple things light on fire. Our climate's doing okay as well, so it's not too bad. We're not going to go into a different biome based on that differential in heat. And now we have glass. So that glass I'm just going to save for later. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get... I'm not doing great on oxygen, so I'm going to take this rabbit out of the atmosphere. And I'm going to wait for the oxygen to catch up just a little. And by doing that, I'm going to plant another tree to make sure all our happy little trees over here are actually providing enough oxygen to the, the wildlife. So I was going to do another apple tree over here based on the flowers. And while that's growing, we got poop, which is great. And we have had an egg, right? Fairly certain. Okay, so I'm going to take that egg there. I'm going to put that egg, I'm going to tuck it into here, and before it hatches, I'm going to put near the mud pool. Now that is going to give us a little piggy, the swine. But because we have very little oxygen, I'm going to keep the swine in orbit for now as well. Now that we have poop as well, I'm going to go back, I'm going to get another couple critters. And with the poop. And I have a little bit of nitrogen, not much, so we'll see if this actually hatches or not. If not, that's okay. We're just going to put down more grass. So let's get some grass going on. Yep. Okay, and when the seeds are near the poop, we get a fly. Yep. So let's knock those guys off the list so we're not looking at them anymore. And a pig, and sand. Okay, so the only one we need now is snow, and that's going to be a different biome. We're going to go to a different planet entirely for that one. I'm just going to take a look at what we can do here, and I see the brown bear. So the brown bear, and look, we're doing good on oxygen now, which is great. So I'm going to take that beehive, and I'm going to take the nest, and I'm going to take an egg. And I'm going to tuck that in, and I'm going to put it near 
the beehive. And we're doing good on oxygen, so this should... I'm just going to leave this guy on the planet for now. And we got the brown bear. Okay, great. So, now I'm going to look around. What else do we have? We have the chicken. Alright, so what can, how can I do the chicken? I'm going to... Did I leave another egg up here? I did not. So I'm going to go get another egg. Um, I'm doing good on nitrogen, so I don't... And I don't want to get fertility too high. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to get an egg. Or two. Why not? And with that egg... We're going to just go somewhere where there's no other critters, just for a second. Not that it matters very much. I'm going to plant the egg. And I'm going to get some seeds. And I'm going to tuck that in, and I'm going to put near the seeds. And we're going to wait. And we're doing good. And we got a chicken. Great. And now that I'm ramping up on nitrogen, I'm going to throw another critter down. Doesn't matter what it is. This could be a snail. It could be a worm. It's just so we get our nitrogen consumption up. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look. All right. So the next things we're gonna need are gonna be in the different biomes at this point in time. So I think we're pretty good on this planet. Actually, we got a grasshopper and a spider. I mean, there's a couple other bugs we can actually create now. Let's do that. Because while we have the nitrogen, might as well. I'm just going to put these seeds down. No harm, no worries if uh, if they work or not. So let's go get our eggs. Have four of those. We'll go back to this planet. And I'm going to put some eggs down. With the abundant amount of nitrogen we have, we're going to put it near the stick. What do you figure this is going to be? A stick bug, of course, right? We got a stick bug now. And the next egg I'm going to put down is going to be right near the bush. This guy, we still have quite a bit of nitrogen. Oh, that wasn't close enough to the bush. All right. And that's why we bring multiples. Okay. That counts as putting near. And we got a spider because we put it near the bush. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at is the mosquito. That bear looks like it's got a lot of blood in it, doesn't it? So we're going to put those eggs right near him. And there we go. We got a mosquito. Okay, so... So our fertility's up above what I need it to be. So I'm going to try and save this. I don't think I have time. Unfortunately... Uh, uh, yeah, no, this thing's gonna explode. Wasn't watching that. Not a huge deal, especially when you don't have a lot of wooded land. But it's one of those things where you want, you know, the temperature's gonna climb a bit. And you don't want your whole biome burning down because of your fertility rate's too high. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna try and take out a couple more critters here. Calm that volcano down. That in turn is actually gonna boost our nitrogen quite a bit. Alright, calming down now because we're not maxing out. And I'm going to take one more worm off as well. Chase that guy down before it burns anything. Okay, we're back down at 11. That shouldn't explode anymore. Shouldn't. No guarantees. Okay, so let's create a couple more nests. We've got uh, four more planets to put nests on, I believe. And I'm just going to do one more for good measure. I don't know if I need it or not. I'm going to try it. Okay. So, that planet is doing okay. It could use a little bit more oxygen. So let's give it another tree before we leave. I'm going to put that tree near moss. That should be a willow tree here. Right. 
There we go. Now we're reducing all that nitrogen again, and our fertility is dropping. So as that's dropping, I'm going to add those critters back in and help with that fertility. Okay, so they're starting to consume. Uh, my dragonfly is dead, so I'm just going to leave him out here. Nail is not. Now there's a mosquito. So these guys should help a little bit with the fertility and a little bit with nitrogen consumption. And the honeybee, because I like honeybees. And my bear's dead because we left him without oxygen, so he's now getting a space burial. Burial, get it? And, uh, yeah, I think we're good on this planet for now. So, right off the bat, what I'm going to do is... So I'm just going to remember the name of it, Terrell, which is a swamp at this point in time. We're going to go to each of these, and we're just going to drop a nest. That way I don't have to worry about this any at any point in the game. Oh yeah, and by the way, now we have a human. That was the last planet that it spit up. We have a crash-landed human. So I'm going to remember that planet is Terinra. And I got one more planet over here where I'm going to drop my last nest. There we go. Let me just set that off. It doesn't need to be here anymore. Okay, so what we can do with the human right off the bat... We can get a couple quick unlocks here. I'm going to take the gold. And... There's my glass. We had some glass. I'm going to take the glass as well. I'm going to leave an egg over here. I'm going to take that honey pie as well. And I'm just going to plant this just... Just because... We are producing more oxygen than is needed here, so I'm going to actually throw the critters back on. Or the animals, I should say. Okay. Now we're going to go to Ter Terrarina. Terinra, whatever it was. And we're going to get a quick couple unlocks here, okay? So, you start giving him items, and he'll figure out what to do with them, right? This one. Gold becomes money. Take that away. This guy. This becomes honey. And I'm legally obligated to have money and honey together just so I can say it. You know, get the money, honey. Alright, we got honey. Now we give the glass to him. And that becomes the top of the ship the cabin. We're going to install that. Now I'm going to go back. There was a couple other things we made. We have the charged battery and the steel. So I'm going to go back over there again. Our arena. And I'm going to install the battery. And I'm going to give him the steel. And he's going to make the hull of the ship. Okay, great. So now at this point in time, we could leave. He's he's ready to go. If, if we really wanted to, he could embark. But I'm going to do 100% of this. So we're going to leave him on this planet for now, and we're going to start feeding them other things as we create other biomes as well. So let's go pick another one. And this one I'm going to start with Arctic. And it's going to be, we'll start with an Arctic Ocean. And we'll work our way down from that. So the Arctic's got to be super cold. And it's going to be that balancing game, as we have done with the planes as well. Plane slash swamp is I'm going to be feeding it oxygen, I'm going to be feeding it coal so we can get CO2 into the air so that plants grow. And I'm going to be feeding it a lot of water so that the temperature drops as well. So I'm just going to kill off the rest of my oxygen here. And I'm going to go to another belt. And we're going to grab some more supplies. So we're going to resupply all the oxygen that we can. Don't really need much more coal for the rest of this, but I'm just basically going to take all this because we have unlimited capacity. It seems like, I don't know, maybe it goes up to a thousand. I haven't tried it. 
Nor am I inclined to. So we're basically going to do the same procedure for each planet to start in order to get the fertility up to a manageable point is we're going to populate it with a bunch of coal and a bit of ice and a lot of oxygen and then we burn that all to produce the CO2 and the ashes that provide the fertility for the beginning of the planet. Now obviously this is just my strategy. Um, any Anybody else that's playing, you know, I, I would love to hear other strategies and how people have come about getting a really balanced planet because uh, yeah, it's a really fun game and I do kind of like how uh, how this all works together. Now just remembering, I just gotta remember which one I did. Tartar, 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 or Tervinra. No, that was the one. Uh, so it's gotta be this one, yeah. Tartar, not Tartar. Get it right one of these days. And okay, so we got a lot of that, so I'm gonna go grab a match first. And while I'm here, might as well grab the beginning roots of the next planet. Get our solar seeds. Get our solar eggs. And we'll get some nuts. Okay. So let's light it up. Doesn't have much oxygen on it right now, but I'm gonna keep feeding it as it's burning. So I catch this orbiting match. Okay, so I don't really want volcanoes on this planet, nor do I need them. So I'm not gonna get a ton of coal burning at the same time. Just enough to make it fertile. And the climate's going up, which is fine. So actually what I can do, I said I was going to go arctic, but might as well start with where we're at. We're at a, at a desert biome, or we're, we're getting there anyways. So at 46 degrees, what we can start doing is instead of adding more ice and cooling it down, let's just rely on the humidity and the fact that these clouds are going to be popping up pretty fast. And we'll get into a tropic, right? So now that we're in a tropic, Let's start creating the tropic plants. Okay, so I'll get a little bit more fertile. Not crazy fertile, but just a bit more. Okay, so that's gonna give us the ferns. Now these ferns do grow quite nicely in, in a really fertile area. So let's get a little bit more fertility in there. And I guess that puddle's there, so that we're going to use it. Nothing wrong with that. We're just going to put, be putting more nitrogen into the air. And I'm not going to get too attached to these guys, because we will be turning this into an arctic land eventually. But for now, let's just get these guys going. Okay, so as the fertility goes up, these are uh, more capable of growing. So I'm going to grow a little cluster of them. Keeping an eye on the fertility. I don't want this place to burn down. And there we go. So our first watermelon plant is coming up here. What I'm going to do is place these eggs near here. And it should be producing nitrogen pretty soon. So we'll have first little tropic critter. This is just a worm. Nothing special. So we got our watermelon. Now I'll go back and we'll take a look at what we're looking for in the tropic stuff. It's going to be... The cactus is going to be a desert. So I'm just going to try and kill off a couple of the, uh, the animals that we can. I believe... The snake goes near... Ferns? Could be wrong. Yep, okay, so we got a snake. 
Okay, so that's another one off that list. So we need a krill, arctic moth, and then that's it for critters. We need quite a few of these, so in this environment here we're going to look for palm trees. Palm trees are going to give us coconuts and bananas. And uh, giraffe is going to be the... Uh, I think it's savannah, which is this one here. Okay, so now that we have that, we're not producing a lot of oxygen yet. I'm just going to get this giraffe out of the way uh, with yeah, not a nut. How about, yeah, let's use an egg as recommended. I'm going to get a few more nuts out here. Or seeds, sorry. Yeah, let's go back to the savannah. Let's plant that egg. That should give us a giraffe. Now because we have no trees, he's going to take up all four parts of oxygen quite quickly. So I'm just going to put him into orbit for a second. And we're going to drop a nut down here. This should give us... Let's see, I think it would be an acacia. I uh, know we got a palm tree. Perfect. So there's enough CO2 for that going on here. Um, snake is dead. Because I'm not sure why. But rest in peace, snake. Okay, so that palm tree is going to grow up. It's going to start producing oxygen, taking CO2. So with that being said, we should be able to get this giraffe chilling out here with no problems, and we need that CO2 that he's going to be producing. And we just ran out of fertility, so let's get that back. It's good to have a little bit more than just the bare minimum. Okay, we have our palm tree, our coconut. I'm going to wait around for a second, and hopefully I'm going to produce a banana for us as well once the fertility thing gets sorted out. And because I don't have enough critters on this planet, that's exactly what it is. So I'm going to throw a couple more critters down. And help with that fertility. There we go. So they're going to start absorbing. And there we go. And we have a banana now. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got all these guys done. So we're looking for the acacia and the pine tree. And that's going to be it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to go for is, I think, the uh, the crow, which is going to be... Actually, the bird should be tropical as well. So let's add a bit more water. That should adjust it into a tropic level. There we go. Okay, so now we're in the jungle tropic, so we're going to hatch an egg here. And that should be our bird. There we go, we got a bird. Okay. And it looks like we should be balanced. We should be able to have two oxygen breathers on this planet and not be too bad. Okay, and other than that, what we can do on the tropic is, well, we can flood it, and then we can start getting the algae. So let's do that. These snakes are going to go away pretty soon. But I need to, actually, I, I can go either way to dry it out for the crows. So let's do that first. Let's get rid of all the water to make it into a desert. Yeah, they're gonna die. I know. It's it's unfortunate. Sad but true sort of thing. But yeah, I'm, I'll save the giraffe because I like him. I think he's goofy enough looking. Okay. okay, they're not doing so hot over here without the oxygen. We get that. What I'm trying to do is get the humidity all the way down so it goes into a desert biome. Oh, 
tools there. There we go. We're in desert now. So with desert, I'm going to plant a couple of these. And that's going to give us the dry grass that we need. Just uh, the only problem with desert is, you know, it's dry. So it takes a long time for the clouds to show up. That's kind of cool. Okay, so there's one. And put that over this guy. And it does take a long time for it to rain as well. That fast forward button is uh, kind of a lifesaver. Okay, so we got dry grass. I'm going to do the same thing with this cloud over here. And that gives us a cactus. Okay, so now that we have those, let's chill out for a second. Now we're going to get our desert biome animal. And that's going to be the crow. Doesn't have any oxygen. Not doing great. It doesn't have any fertility, but we got it now. So I'm going to launch him into space too until we can look at getting this place a little fertile. So I'm going to drop this right in between the dry grass. And I'm going to need a few more critters on here. Critters are going to be the key to keeping this place fertile. So I'll grab a couple more from over here. And let's throw a couple more down. That's going to help with the fertility. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so our fertility is not doing great, but not terrible. So we're going to wait for that next cloud, wherever that's going to be. There it is right there. I'm going to bring that over to that dry grass there. I'm also going to place one out here, and this will give us a twiggy bush. I think this gives us the acacia, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. So we'll get that going. And as that's going, I'm going to grab that other cloud. And... Uh, and go to the other side of the planet with it, apparently. Okay, so this one uh, I need another nut for. And we'll go over to the desert again. We'll drop that there. This should give us a twiggy bush. We have a ton of CO2 right now, so this seedling should do really well. Yeah, there's our acacia tree. And then this guy is another one. I've placed it too close to the dry grass. So we'll go and we'll try that again. And we'll put it here so it's pretty far away from everything. And take that crowd. And let's see, we should get a twiggy bush out of this. Now I'm producing oxygen quite nicely again. Okay, so there we go, we got the twiggy bush. So oxygen's overtaking the CO2, so we're gonna get a couple animals back in there. And they should start producing, and that balance that should balance out as well. I don't have a lot of trees here, so it's it's kind of a hard balance. I don't I don't have a set formula for it. Okay, so let's check out what we got now and what we need next. Okay, so the sheep, the capybara, duck, the fish, the penguin. Pine tree is the last tree we need. Nope. And a marine bush. Okay. And then all this stuff is going to be a very, the wetland stuff. And arctic stuff as well. So... That's kind of it for the desert one. So let's go back. I'm going to start doing a Arctic one. Let's do an ocean one first. Doesn't matter what planet you pick, really. But yeah, So I'm going to build this one up. This is going to be a frozen ocean first. 
and then we'll eventually heat it up into a tropical ocean. I'm going to put a ton of water on this thing. I'm going to fill the oxygen. That way we can burn some coal, get it going. Okay, we got our ice planet. Okay, I'm going to warm that up so it becomes an ocean. Got enough oxygen for that. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this guy over here. A couple matches going. We're going to go back. We're going to light this up. It's only just to get the... Uh, the ocean moving again. So while that's happening, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the mammals on it. Again, no oxygen, but that's okay. We're just going to be checking these off. You know, if you want to have like a really balanced planet, more power to you. You know, take your time in building these. But right now I'm sort of just doing a kind of a semi-quick run through on just how to get everything. And uh, yeah, you can build any way you want after that. Okay, so this should be melting up pretty soon. I'll have enough coal here, okay. I haven't tried this yet. I just want to see if that works. I don't know if it does or not. Let's see if it... Yeah. Okay, we got a penguin. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, so we need a little bit more heat on here, but what we have now is snow. So before I do that, I'm just going to throw these eggs down. I'm going to collect some snow. It's going to do two of them. We're going to go back to our human for a second. And we're going to start on another project of building here. I'm going to pass him off a couple snow. There's one. He's like, what do I do with this? Well, what would anybody do when you're handed a handful of snow? Yeah, make snowballs. We're going to make two of those. That done. No, your hands are cold, but you're not done yet. Okay, there's another one. I'm going to put those together. And we are on the first steps of our art project. I'm just going to let him orbit, because... Uh, yeah, keep going, man. That was fun. Anyways. Okay, so we're going to go back to our water planet. Uh, and I needed matches, didn't I? Yes. So I'm going to get that a little warmer. That way we can get some liquid going here. Get a couple matches. And let's turn this into a proper... And the amount of fertility, it might cause volcanoes, but that's not a big deal because we have nothing on the planet yet. I'm not trying to get it boiling warm yet. We can do a tropic ocean in a second, but I just want it to become liquid. Ah. Okay. Maybe I'll grab a couple more matches for this project. Oxygen in the air before it gets all drained out. There we go. Okay. Got a water planet and a tempered ocean. And we've got great fertility. So, right off the bat, we're going to do a couple seeds. We've got algae. And within that algae, we should get some seaweed. 
There we go. There's our little seaweed here. Okay. And within that, this penguin isn't doing so hot, I'm sure. So I'm going to get you out of the water. I think you like it icy. I'm going to get a marine bush out of that. And we're going to get some fish. Fish have no oxygen. Uh, they're doing okay on oxygen. And a fish. Okay. That means we should have everything except for the pine tree now. Need quite a few stuff on this, so let's focus on those, and then we'll maybe just turn this into an arctic. Again, it's it's up to you whatever strategy you want to use. You know, you can have each planet as a biome, or you can just have all the biomes in one. But I'm going to try and end with the arctic one. We're going to work our way down. So now that we've got our ocean stuff done, I'm going to turn this ocean into a lake. There we go. Got rid of enough of that. And with that lake, I'm going to plant another egg. And that's going to give us a capybara. And also, I don't think I need to do that actually. No, that's only just going to give me more marine bushes. Okay, so now we have the capybara. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I actually have some bulrush right here, which is great. I'm going to go grab a few more seeds and a few more eggs. And... I like we have that we have solar eggs and solar eggs. It's one of those things I picked up on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to plant an egg right next to some bulrush. Let's see what that gets us here. That should be our duck. Okay, great. So now we have the duck done. And that, and all we need is the sheep. That's going to be an arctic one. Okay, so what else do we need for, we need the pine tree, so that's arctic as well. And we need krill, so that's an easy one here. That's That'll do oceans or lakes. All we got to do is toss one critter in here. No, didn't mean to do that. And there we go. And there's our krill. Okay. Okay, so the arctic moth is what we're looking for. Toadstools, lily pads. Lily pads are going to grow near bulrush. So let's plant another one of these. We should get a lily pad right there. There we go. Just wait for that to grow up and then we can click on it. Get rid of our dead fish. Okay, there's the lily pad. Now the toadstool is in a swampy area. We're going to walk back down into a swamp. Um, yeah, it's near moss. Okay. okay, so let's take this down again into a swampy area. Almost there. There we go. Okay, good. Mossy swamp. Alright, so we're going to get a bit of moss going on here. We should bring that up there. Okay, so we got our moss, and let's place that right in between there. And the rain on that, and that should end up with a toadstool there. Nope, yep, there we go. And more little growth there. Okay, there's our toadstool. Okay. So the next things we're looking for are all going to be 
in the tundra, I believe. Just double check in here. Okay, great. Okay, so everything else we're gonna do, we should be able to accomplish everything else through the tundra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cool it down a lot, and I'm gonna take all the humidity out of the air. And that becomes the Arctic snow plains. First, we're gonna we're gonna aim for the snow plains, or snow land or whatever it is, and then we're gonna go on from there into a tundra. So it's damn cold now, but it's way humid. Let's speed this up. Sorry about that, Capybara. Should have saved you. You can go with your dead fish friend, or not. Be frozen in the lake. It's fine. Okay, so what I'm looking for is snow fields. And I think the humidity needs to be a little lower, and it might need to be a little colder. So we'll just balance that back and forth. So we got grassy arctic. Snowy grassland. So what I'm trying to get to is snow fields. So we don't have anything much on this planet except for this. And I don't know if the bulrush itself is making it into a grassland instead of a plains. Okay, so wetlands is not what I'm looking for. Get a bit of fertility going on over here. That way it's not so barren. Take a bit more fertility or er, humidity out. Because we should be getting snow clouds, not rain. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, well, the Arctic is where we're at now, so let's go with it. Right off the bat. Just to get the sheep, we're going to do that. I'm going to give them a bit of oxygen to give them a fighting chance. And we'll get, hopefully, well, this is going to just be a bush because I don't have any grass around it. So let's go get some seeds. Let's start getting some grass in there. And a couple more critters. So let's drop some grass down. And we got our sheep. I'm going to let him out of the atmosphere for a second. Just so he doesn't suffocate. Because the sheep is going to be vital for the wool. And that's going to sprout tundra moss. Then I'm going to get... Another cloud over there. And I'm going to get that to snow on that last seed patch here. And we're going to combine that. That should be a little carrot. So the carrots are going to be useful on here because the sheep is going to need to eat them. So I'm just going to pull them out of the ground if I can. I guess I can't, because it was too close. Okay, so we'll sprout maybe another carrot over here. Could be moss, could be carrot. Yeah, looks like a carrot. Again. And I'm going to plant a tree here. And that should be a pine tree. There we go. That's popped out of the ground now, so that's going to be good for the sheep. But I do want to get a bit more oxygen going on first. And that's going to be our pine tree. And I want a couple of these guys just because they don't produce a lot of oxygen. Let's get another cloud. That's a good cloud for it right over here. I just want to check what that is. I think it's just a yeah, twiggy bush, so it doesn't matter much. There's our pine tree. 
Get another one going there. And we are producing enough oxygen now, so I'm going to leave that guy over here. And he's going to start eating those carrots. Which is exactly what we want. Because the more carrots you eat, the more likely he is to produce wool. that. We're doing a good balance of oxygen and CO2 right now. Go, we're gonna sprout that. Alright, sheep's got his wool gone. Alright, so with that wool, I'm gonna take that back to Tarinra. We're going to give the wool over to the human. He's going to be like, oh, what's that? What's up? And we've got a shawl. That shawl apparently shouldn't be part of this art project, but it works. So I'm going with it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab a couple sticks over here. I'm going to put that on the art project. Okay. Actually, I only needed one. And I'm going to go back to the Arctic here. I'm going to grab a carrot. If I can. Maybe it's not fully grown yet. There we go. I'm going to grab a carrot. There we go. I'm going to go back to human planet. I'm going to put that carrot on there. Alright, all right, we're looking uh, looking pretty good. And then the final touch on that one is going to be some seeds. We'll grab some seeds. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to plop... If I get, you know, my fingers working properly. And there we go. We got a snowman. Okay. So the only other thing we need is obsidian on this one. Now obsidian works in tandem with two different things. So fortunately what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some more volcanoes going on. And I'd rather not burn all the planets that we've just made because they're, they're actually in pretty good shape. So I'm just going to do this planet. We're going to get volcanoes going on this one. So I'm gonna do let's say 18 coal. Let's get a let's get a big old volcano going here. I'm gonna need more oxygen for it. So I'm gonna to have to go back to an asteroid belt and clip it off. Let's just spend all we have right now. Okay. And then go back to the asteroids. And grab some more oxygen here. And I don't think these replenish over time. Uh, I thought they did originally, but I think, uh, I think what you see is what you get per map. So just be careful with uh, how much oxygen you're really using. You know, you don't want to drain the whole universe of it, basically. And, and then run out completely or you'd just basically be stuck with producing it on your own through trees instead of anything else. And then we're going to need a match. Let's get a couple in case I screw up again. We'll go back to not this one. Uh, it was this one. Okay. So let's add a bunch more oxygen in here. And a match. Like that. I'm going to add a bunch of ice to it. That way we get this water going on. That way all the fertility happens all at once. Yeah, we're doing 
good on oxygen here. A little bit more is not going to hurt. Let's get this into just a bit more of a watery planet there. Super warm. There we go, tropical lake. That should boost this fertility. It should take all that up there. Perfect. And that planet's not going to like that, which is what we're counting on. Lava. Pop up. We're gonna grab that lava and then we're gonna go back to the Arctic planet. And on that Arctic planet, we're gonna look for some snow. And here's the next snow coming up. And hopefully the lava doesn't burn out by the time the snow hits the ground. So this lava and snow creates obsidian. Okay. So with that obsidian, we're going to go back to our human. I don't know wherever I put him. And we're going to give the human the obsidian. Here's your obsidian. And with that, he's going to make some shades. There you go. And we got some cool shades. So that is 100% of what he can make, I believe, right? Yeah, we got all those. We got all those. We are looking for, what are we looking for? There's only a couple things we gotta make now. Arctic cotton, Arctic poppies. And an arctic moth so let's just start on this planet here let's just do it right here where i'm going to add just enough where we can get some fertility going because uh it needs to be a plains as far as i know it, there needs to be not very much wildlife on it in order for it to be considered a plane so we're gonna get these uh my do need one of those. I don't need any more eggs because we have everything we need there. And I'm gonna grab a match or two. I really don't need a cloud. So we get a couple solar seeds. Uh, we should have enough to fertilize this planet now. So we're gonna go back to here. And we're just gonna start getting it just doesn't even need to be crazy fertile on this. I just want to get enough. We can get some stuff living. And that's CO2. And a little bit of humidity so I can plant these seeds. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that we can get into a snowfield area. So I'm going to have to cool it down as it goes. So let's get it a bit fertile first. Decides to rain here. Okay, we'll get another bit of rain here. And we should have one more cloud popping up pretty soon. Okay, at step, it's too warm, so we're going to step it down a little bit. bump up the fertility just a bit more. Okay, we're at plains now. I'm gonna need a bit more ice for this, I think. Okay. Uh, nope, that's not where I wanna go. I wanted to go to Terrarina. So I'm going to do this like low and slow sort of thing. I don't really want to go past the point where I'm trying to get into and then have to work up again. Just going to go... Okay, we're still at Plains, so let's get a bit colder here. I'm 
We've got our fertility hanging on here, which will be enough just for the last couple things that we need here. Okay, still at planes. How about one more? One more work for you? Nope, still one more. Okay, let's get it down a bit farther. Arctic. So now I think it's too wet. I'm pretty sure. Let's uh let's try and take out a couple and see where that goes. the last one usually it's easy to get to this and then sometimes you have the problems so it's just about figuring out um, what kind of fertility you need what kind of uh... so I'm not producing any nitrogen yet so this is gonna give me moss and I don't want the moss I want to uh, want cotton I'd like some nitrogen please anyways so we're just gonna screw around with this for a second until we get to biome that we need in order for these last two to go. Yeah, because that's going to give me tundra moss, so I'm going to try and actually add a bit more moisture back in. Heat it up just a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Let's see what that does for us. Maybe it's a fertility thing. I'm not exactly sure. So we're going to try and make this a little bit more fertile. That could help us out. Producing any nitrogen yet, so I'm gonna burn a bit more coal. want to get it to a snowlands or snowfields. I thought it was just a cold version of planes, but I am apparently wrong. So possibly it's a fertility thing. I'll get a little more fertile here. see if the fertility thing is the factor in the planes. I wish I had a more straightforward explanation. Would have been nice to end it on a better than confused note, but here we are. Okay, so let's bring the temperature down on this. Humid going up quite a bit. We don't want it to be a swamp. We want to keep it plains. But we want to keep it cool as well. I don't want a frozen swamp either. a little bit more. 
back in the swamp, keep the sea of or the uh, water out. Minus eight now. Let's see what one more piece of ice does for us. That fine line, I think, between uh, Arctic and snow fields. Okay, so let's get a couple more of these guys going on. There we go, snow fields. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for. So yeah, it's it's a high humidity, possibly a fertility thing. No, get out of here. Not for you. Okay, so we'll get that one sprouting there. We'll get another one. We're gonna sprout that there. So this is gonna give us the cotton. That's gonna give us the poppy, and then we're gonna drop one of these guys in here and that is our moth and there we go we got 99 let's get out of here and there's a high potential the game is going to crash right now let's see and boop there we go There we go. We have uh, we got through all 99 of those, and hopefully this video helped you kind of figure out some of the stuff that we were looking for. Um, I had a fun with this game. I had a lot of fun figuring out what I needed to do with each one, and uh, hopefully any of the ones that you're having trouble with, just getting to that 100%. Now that you, now you know. Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. I would like to see this in paragraphs more than anything, honestly. Okay. Very existential, yes, we know. Wow, that's a lot of talking. Okay, yep. Okay, cool. Yep, gotcha. But anyways, that was uh, that was the run through for a 99% or 100% out of uh, 99 items to get. And shut up, please. All right, there we go. Okay. There we go. So 100 in just under an hour. All right, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Take care.